How to prove God. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to prove God to anyone willing to think seriously about the facts. Because firstly, everything that comes into being has a cause. And secondly, the universe came into being. So from this, we can conclude that the universe must have a cause. But couldn't the cause of the universe have been nothing? Well, no, not really, because nothing lacks all potential, possibility, and power. Therefore, nothing is powerless to create anything, let alone a universe. Another option for the cause of the universe could be that the universe caused itself. But that's like saying that a baby gave birth to itself, which is totally crazy. So we can definitely rule this option out. Another option posed by some atheists is that the universe is past eternal and has always existed. But there are major flaws with this view. Firstly, let's think about the second law of thermodynamics. It tells us that the universe is running out of usable energy. And if the universe was eternal, then it would have run out of energy by now. So the second law points to a definite beginning of the universe. Also, several amazing scientific discoveries have shown this to be true. In 1915, Albert Einstein gave a talk about his general theory of relativity, and this was the first time we could talk about the history of the universe in a useful way. Then, using Einstein's equations, Alexander Friedman and George Lemaitre both predicted that the universe is getting bigger. In 1929, Edwin Hubble took measurements of the redshift and light from galaxies far away, and this measurement not only proved that the universe is growing, but also that it started from a single point in the past. Recently, three of the best cosmologists, Arvind Bord, Alan Guth, and Alexander Vlenkin, showed that a universe that has been growing on average throughout its history can't be eternal in the past and must have a beginning. This is true even if there is something like a multiverse. This means that atheists can no longer uphold the idea of a past eternal universe. They now need to tackle the problem of how the universe began. So what can be known about the cause of the universe? Well, quite a lot actually. Firstly, it must exist both before and beyond the universe. Secondly, it must be spaceless, timeless, and immaterial to be the first cause of space, time, and matter. Thirdly, it must be immensely powerful to bring a universe into being. Fourthly, it must be incredibly intelligent to fine-tune nature's laws to make life in the universe possible. And fifthly, it must have free will to choose to bring the universe into being when it did. Otherwise, we could never have a temporal universe from an eternal cause. And so when we look at these facts honestly and with an open mind, we can quickly come to the conclusion that God must exist.